I'm Norman Fister with Blush Beautiful Skin Care and Cosmetics. I so swear, Cordelia, you better slam the door in his face. Okay, okay. He and that freaky chick of his are... What the? Look out, Angel! Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder, and you guys know what day it is today. We are reacting to Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 2, Episode 9. So Episode 8 was an excellent glimpse into more of Giles and who he is and his backstory. I, I would like to see more and more of that fleshed out, and I'm actually hoping that we get more of that from all the characters because it's it's very intriguing to me to see a side of these characters that we know and learn more about them that I previously like didn't understand whatsoever. And that doesn't even necessarily mean that everyone has a dark backstory or anything like that. I mean, obviously characters like Angel, Spike, Drusilla, I would love to know more about their dark history and the horrible things that they've done or that happened to them. But even characters like Xander or Willow, just seeing them in circumstances that reveals an aspect of their characters or personalities that we haven't seen before, I would love to see that kind of continued. I think they've done that a little bit. I feel like in the past couple episodes, we've definitely seen Willow step up with uh, a little bit more leadership than she has in the past and speak up for herself. And that that's very refreshing to see. And it's just interesting to see from a writing and character perspective as well. But I'm excited to get into this episode. Um, thank you, as always, to everyone who supports on Patreon. That's where you can watch the full version of this reaction and all my Buffy and movie reactions. And if you do want to see my reaction to next week's episode, episode 10 of season two, that's going to be up right now for early access. Huge thank you to everyone for your support. And let's just get into the episode. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season two, episode nine. person who keeps his own company by default <laughs> there are no boxes for none of the above that would introduce too many variables into their don't overthink this xander inspire to help my fellow man check <laughs> oh cordelia oh i want to see all the answers to her questionnaire ready to give a helping hand to the rich and the pretty which lucky me excludes you twice he kind of set her up for that burn right curious about what kind of career you could have had i mean if you weren't already the slayer or not do the words sealed and fate ring any bells for you will why go there you know with that kind of oh let willow enjoy this deprimere ille babula the evil nerd vampires do they get bullied too like the human world oh. yep they do Give us some peace, would you? Can't you see I'm working? Oh, he's stressed. He's snapping at his girl there. I'm sorry, kitten. It's just this manuscript. Aw. She, she does seem so hurt by him yelling at her. It's that bloody slayer. Whenever I turn around, she's mucking up the works. Yeah, a little bit tougher than you initially thought when you showed up, huh, Spike? I want the cure. Fine. Why not? Some people find pain very inspirational. <laughs> the key. The key? You mean this book is in some kind of code? Yeah. That would be such a tough job, working for Spike, having to translate stuff. I'll dance with you, Fed. I want to know, like, why she's so weak. Yeah, I'm just I'm just so intrigued by Drusilla and what her deal is. I can't help like hearing what we've known at least so far about her backstory and her origin with Angel. I don't know. There there is a part of me that feels bad for her, but we'll see. I mean, I feel like both her she and Spike are capable of some pretty 
atrocious acts. And I also like want to know, like, how did they first meet each other? I don't know. So many questions about our, our evil characters here. Does rest in peace have no sanctity to you people? Oh, I forgot. They're not a people. Don't let the smart vampire scholar get away. One down. I One knew he was going to run. Come on, that guy wasn't going to fight her. Buffy. You scared me. Now you know what it feels like, Stealth. <laughs> Taste of your own medicine there, Angel. Mom's in a little Thursday art buying or something. Then why'd you come in through the window? Habit. <laughs> Buffy's like, good question. I could have just gone in the front door. There's a surprise. Angel comes with bad news. That's a little unfair, Buffy. Uh, we're having this thing at school. Career week. How did you know? I lurk. Some, some casual stalking. Yeah, lurking. Call it what you would like. Sometimes I just want... You want what? A choice in her life about what she could do. Some normalcy. I want a normal life. Like I had before. You're the one freaky thing in my freaky world that still makes sense to me. Not your average sweet line, but still sweet. Okay, then, a regular kid and her cradle robin creature of the night boyfriend. <laughs> I want to know his relationship with Drusilla, too. Skating was an escape. I felt safe. When was the last time you put on your skates? Or are they going to go on a little date here? There's a rink out past Route 17. Closed on Tuesdays. That would be hilarious if Angel can't skate and is just falling down the whole time. Knowing this show, though, this is a very sweet moment. They're setting up for something good. That means it's going to go horribly wrong. Oh, here I am. Personal shopper or motivational speaker? Neato. Those are kind of... Big differences. I could be. I could see Cordelia standing up on stage saying some motivating things. Fair, and according to my test results, I can look forward to being gainfully employed in the growing field of corrections. <laughs> well, it... I I honestly cannot see that at all for Xander. Did you fill out the quiz honestly, or is that what they give when they don't know what other answer to put? First, I have to deal with Giles. On this Tony Robbins hyper efficiency. Does he have enough books there? Giles, ask a student to help you. I just feel like that pile of books is asking to fall everywhere. I wonder how many takes they had to do to get that right. <laughs> Imagine, like Buffy keeps missing. You'd be amazed how numbingly pompous and long winded some of these watches were. Hell, are me stunned. So, uh, I... a little, uh, Lacking in self-awareness, maybe? They had tools, flashlights, whole nine yards. What does that mean anyway? Whole nine yards. Nine yards of what? Uh, now it's gonna bug me all day. What is the meaning of that expression? I feel like I really should know that, but I don't. This could be very serious. I mean, if you'd made an effort uh, to be more thorough in your observation. You know, if you don't like the way I'm doing my job, why don't you find somebody else? <sighs> let's Let's bring things down a notch and just chill out. This is it then. They should take career tests. I would love to see what answers Spike and Drusilla give, honestly. We'll have a coronation down Main Street and invite everyone. I, I just have a feeling that Drusilla, if she regains her power, is going to be incredibly deadly. Gristle in my teeth. She's the bloody thorn in my bloody side. Spike? Gotta do something. You gotta do some little meditating, Spike. Get control of that temper. The Order of Taraka. The bounty hunters? We're having supernatural bounty hunters? Get out of here. This is Buffy meets Mandalorian. The Order of Taraka, I mean, isn't that overkill? No. I think it's just enough kill. Okay, I want to see who and what these people are. Principal Snyder, great career fair, sir. Really, in fact, I'm so inspired by your leadership. I'm this is not going to work. I want to walk in your <laughs> shoes. Not your actual shoes, of course, because you're a tiny person. Not tiny in the small sense, of course. <laughs> Stop talking. Stop talking. And don't feed me that I just saw her a minute ago. She's around here somewhere story. He's heard the usual excuses. 
Whatever comes out of your mouth is a meaningless waste of breath. An airborne toxic event. Well, I'm glad you feel comfortable enough to be so honest with me. <laughs> but one day I'm in the position to be that honest with you. Fascinating. That was actually a pretty good comeback there, Xander. Especially under that pressure with the principal staring down at you. Willow Rosenberg, come with us, please. Excuse me? Let's walk. No, don't tell me Willow's going to qualify for, like, some secret service job. Oh, imagine if she meets that invisible girl. That would be a crazy, crazy thing to bring back. The test was irrelevant. We've been tracking you for some time. That's not concerning at all. Only one other Sunnydale student met our criteria. Who else? <laughs> what are the chances? Okay, please tell me that things work out between them. God, you act like I picked this gig, but remember, I'm the picked. What you have is more than a gig. It's a sacred duty. Yeah, but Giles, she knows all that. I think right now she needs a little bit just, I don't know, a little space or a little patience from you, maybe. At least they're doing this in broad daylight. I think that's smart. Because if this is a trap of some kind, as long as they get back outside, there's some safety from a vampire ambush. I hate when you say that. Yeah, yeah, it's always a bad sign. If Giles is worried, that means something bad is going on. Something's coming, Buffy. Whatever it is, I can guarantee it's not good. Well, at least he knows. At least they'll be on guard for... You know, these bounty hunters, or whatever exactly is coming into Sunnydale here. Oh, we got a bus. Someone's arriving. Some of uh, Spike's rock and roll friends. The older generation. But it's broad daylight, so it's definitely not vampires, right? Hello, I'm Norman Pfister with Blush Beautiful Skin Care. I'm not selling anything, so I'm not asking you to buy. Just to accept a few free samples. This is... this is dangerous. Don't let someone into your house like that. Come on, that's so unsafe. Especially if you're home alone. <laughs> Dang. Dang. That was a cool transition too with the sound design blend from the screen to the airplane. This poor guy just doing his job. Okay. So is that one of the bounty hunters? I promise I'll be back bright and early tomorrow and ready to slay. This is a matter of some urgency, Buffy. I realize that. It's so tough because everything I feel like in the Slayer requirements, like everything that she has to do is urgent. It is important. But she also needs a break. Maybe Buffy will get this one night uninterrupted. Maybe, but probably not. I mean, how rare must it be for her to have moments like this where she can let loose and forget about the, res the, the unending responsibilities that she has in her life? Yep, I knew it. I knew it. You just can't have one peaceful night, huh? The question is, will Angel be here in time to help out? Good timing, man. Yeah, this guy is strong. You guys need some serious teamwork or else you won't stand a chance. How quickly can he change back and forth? I didn't even notice. Oh, Dang. That's a sweet moment. Oh, great. It's like 30 seconds. Can we get 30 seconds of peace, please? Just one good kiss? No? This ring is worn only by members of the Order of Taraka. Taraka. Okay. Well, she took that guy out pretty easily. I mean, he was strong, but... 
credo is to sow discord and kill the unwary. Bowling is a vicious game. That's enough, Xander. <laughs> Giles is not in the mood for jokes right now. Yeah, he doesn't normally snap like that. You can kill as many of them as you like. It won't make any difference. Where there's one, there will be another. And another. Well, how many are there? They won't stop coming until the job is done. Come on, there has to be a finite number of them. Some are human. Is this going to be like John Wick now? Buffy is just hunted down? Oh, jeez, look at this. That is just disgusting. Oh. What the heck? Dang, Buffy is going to be like on edge constantly if she's being hunted down by these you know, assassins who can just blend in anywhere. Try it. Try what? <sighs> Imagine if that was Cordelia. If she had done that again, Cordelia would have flipped. Sorry, uh... This is a tense person. <laughs> can't imagine being under this much constant stress. Like honestly going into hiding for a little bit might be a smart idea just so they can figure out like a workable strategy because how Buffy can't just like go through all her life like constantly looking over her shoulder. She already deals with so many threats just from vampires. Now it's a statistical impossibility for a 16 year old girl to unplug her phone. <laughs> Willow's like I can confirm that. It's good that she took you seriously, Giles. I just wish we knew where she was. Yeah, let's stay in contact with her because this lack of communication between the team is a bad idea. Angel? I hope he's home. Doesn't make his bed, Angel. You don't, there doesn't even need to be any dialogue for you to understand so much. Come on, man. Don't be that way. I, I treat you vamps good. I, I, I don't hassle you. You don't hassle me. It's not that simple. I haven't been in the loop. Let's try again. The Order of Taraka, they're after the Slayer. He's not going to ask nicely one more time. You know... I'm a little rusty when it comes to killing humans. It could take a while. Okay, okay! He and that freaky chick of his are- What the? Look out, Angel! She can seriously fight. Dang. If you tell me what I need to know, I won't hurt you. Uh... You think this is funny? I don't think you're in a position to be threatening her. I think it is funny now. You stay away from her. I'm afraid you are not in a position to threaten. Then I suggest to move quickly. Eastern exposure. Shoot. Oh, great. Okay. I mean, whoever that is, I do think it's a mistake to give Angel that much time. Like, if you really want to be smart, you got to kill him. You got to finish the job. Get Cordelia to drive you. <laughs> I don't know if that's that's going to be so easy, getting uh, Cordelia to be your Uber driver. Giles, you try that. Oh, Willow. She's exhausted from doing so much work. I have frog fear. <laughs> frog fear? Is there a phobia name for that? I believe the purpose is to restore a weak and sick vampire back to full health. A vampire like Drusilla? Exactly. Okay, well, at least they're, they're putting it together. I mean, I'm glad that Angel suspected Spike. He's kind of the obvious choice of someone who would be after Buffy. The missing bloody link, it was. Right. Right in front of us. The old time. What was it? What does she need? Some ibuprofen? Oh great, so now I'm your 
taxi and your punching bag. I'd like to think of you more as my witless foil, but have it your way. Buffy! I mean, at least Cordelia did it. You gotta give her credit, even if she's not too happy about it. And that my first husband will be a balding, demented, homeless man. Buffy could be in trouble. That would be hilarious if that actually ends up happening. Cordelia is like, well, while I'm here, let me kind of check out her quarters. Who's that going to be? I'm Norman Pfister with Blush Beautiful Skin Care and Cosmetics. I swear, Cordelia, you better slam the door in his face. Free? How is it that easy to get in someone's house? Dang, it's like the exact same, you know, camera shot that we saw before. All right, when she's probably having a nice dream. Jeez! Thanks for the wake up, but I'll stick with my clock radio. Dang, this girl can fight. She's got some kicks, kind of like Buffy's style, too. Who are you? Who am I? You attack me, who the hell are you? I'm Kendra, the vampire slayer. What? Okay, that's so interesting. We got a second vampire slayer. Kendra, was that her name? All right, so that is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season two, episode nine. Wow, what, what a huge reveal there at the end. I mean, okay, can, first of all, can what she said be trusted? Because I was pretty sure that they said earlier in the show there can only be one vampire slayer at a time. Maybe I misheard that. Maybe there's there's more to it than that. But I don't think she's one of the assassins because she didn't know who Buffy was. I don't know. Part, part of me actually wants to believe her that she's telling the truth, which kind of opens the door to a whole lot of possibilities if there can be multiple vampire slayers. Like, are we going to get, uh, you know, the Avengers of the Slayers? Are we going to start getting slayers from all sorts of different territories who can team up to kind of take on bigger threats like Spike and Drusilla? I don't know. That... that I mean, obviously, I'm going to go right into the next episode and watch that because this is kind of the part one of two. So I'm very intrigued. I'll probably get a lot of my, you know, big burning questions answered here. Um, I, I also want to know, like, when Spike and Drusilla were saying the answer was right in front of us the whole time, that looked to me like a picture of an angel. Does that mean angel is the answer to re regain Drusilla's strength? That could be, I don't know. That could be a pretty, I mean, Angel's in a pretty tough spot right now. But what I'm hoping is that if this girl, this new girl, is another vampire slayer, the second Buffy is like, yo, that's my vampire boyfriend. You can't let him burn up in the sunlight. They're going to go free him. A little bit concerned for Cordelia, of course. You know, introducing a, a dangerous uh, worm-eating assassin into Buffy's house. That's never a good sign. But she does, does have Xander there to... Uh, to to help defend her i feel like that's a, that's a nice interesting dynamic having those two uh team up and spend some some quality time together because they clearly have no love for each other but who knows sometimes in in shows and even in real life you know you you're forced into a circumstance with a personality that you just really clash with and um you know, you can grow to see another side to them. That could happen. I could also see Xander and Cordelia um, just trading insults and uh, clever burns back and forth till the bitter end. Either way, I could see that happening. I, I do think that it's very cool how they they demonstrated in this episode just, just something that we see repeatedly happen with Buffy, how the stress and the fatigue that she experiences from being robbed of a normal life and I think it's very realistic that something like a job fair, sometimes you're caught up in the busyness of it, but then something happens that reminds you just how far away you are from something that everyone else has. You know, the little reminder of having that that questionnaire at the school and her, you know, being reminded just on a deep level, like how she really has no choice in her career. She has no choice in her future, you know, her future, you know, her her path is set in stone, and not only is it decided for her, but it's a very difficult, challenging road that doesn't really allow for the pleasures and the the relaxation of normal life. And I really thought the sequence where she's walking through the school and, you know, they're using the camera and the sound design for her to be jumpy at every turn was a very effective way to convey her mindset. 
and the anxiety that she deals with on a day-to-day basis and especially when you know she's she's out being hunted by uh, like i said evil john wick assassins here in the buffy verse but yeah i'm excited to see where this you know this next chapter goes who this new slayer is if they're actually a slayer and uh and how buffy is going to deal with the threat of these new evil bounty hunters and maybe even more dangerous the the return of drusilla's strength because like i said i i don't know for sure but i i'm my money is on drusilla being stronger than spike once she regains her power i just i'm telling you she she gives me a more deadly energy than he does you know I, I think that he's a little bit more out of control and reckless and drusilla might be the real the, the real power in that duo but very interested to see what happens in the next episode i'm going to jump right that and watch that right now if you do want to see my reaction to that episode like i mentioned at the beginning that's up on patreon right now but thank you to everyone for your support and as always remember be active be mindful and be a hero